personally? Yeah. Well, okay, so I, uh, I think like, I want to say 24 because I've been a part of this church since I was born and I'm 24 this year. But it was probably a good 12 that I missed when it I was right. in high school. So maybe <laughs> let's have a safe at least 10. I'll say at least 10. Okay, but there's something special about this colour. Yes, there which is. Which maybe some of our online viewers don't know. Yes, this is my first ever coloured as a married man. Hey! Yes, which is super exciting. So your wife's going to colour. Yes, my wife is going to colour. She's volunteering across the whole week. She's um, going to be like service producing and show calling behind the scenes kind of stuff, which she is absolutely gifted and anointed at. So it's our first colour together as a married couple. So tell me. Yeah? You've been married for... Oh, uh, two and a half months. <laughs> so, nine weeks. I know everything and there is to know. what have you learned really? about women in the last nine weeks? Um, that they're always right. Hey! They <laughs> are always right. You're not and, far off. Yep. And that my wife is the best human being ever. And she's very <laughs> gracious and kind. And then That's I not what you said to me. <laughs> no, the car no. on the way in here. JD! I forgot, I forgot he was in here. You. I'm here, guys. Oh, hey. my I'm goodness. Just I'm here. Welcome. Tyler's been married for nine weeks. I'm just... <laughs> I'm taking You're soaking notes, in like the he's an absolute I do, expert. I do want to now that JD actually in the okay. car. Great, I've got, he, you, listen, I've only been married for twelve years, okay. so it's not that much. But yeah. you realise that, yeah, you, uh, the more you're married, the more you actually don't know. <laughs> Yes, very true. I guess so that's from I love answer. that you're in that stage that you know everything about marriage. So it's great, man. So yeah. keep going. Oh, oh no, I was just going to... I'm sure we're all taking notes. I right was just going to say that if it wasn't for JD, I actually yeah. wouldn't have gotten married because he was the legal... It's called the celebrant, right? Yes, I married them. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. So, so I'm a, I'm a do you feel well, responsible then for um, like the health of their marriage then? Yeah, I don't think anyone can take responsibility for that. I don't think there's a... No. <laughs> I do it as an older brother. Yeah. He's marrying them, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm pumped. Okay, so you two have grown up in this environment where there has always been a women's conference, and not just any women's conference, but like the women's conference. I'm allowed to say that because I'm hosting this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours. The women's conference. Also, that is an amazing view. <laughs> I, we're not traveling in a bad city, are we? No, not at all. Okay, but like I was saying, you guys have been around for a while. And you've been a part of this environment where, like, women are esteemed. Yeah. Women are, um, like, in leadership. And now, JD, you've got girls of your own. Like, what does that mean to you? What kind of, like, what is that? Because that's not the reality for everybody um, in church. Either. Yeah, totally. I think we have been blessed, lucky, both, whatever you want to call it. To, <laughs> like, I've grown up. As Tyler has as well. Like yep. We've been in Hillsong Church our whole lives, and even just watching the journey of when colour started, and even, you know, as the sisterhood meets on Thursday mornings, being a part of both of that, kind of just being able to be a worship leader. I've been to sneak, I've like, well, <laughs> I didn't sneak in, I was. You were welcome. Yeah, I was welcome. <laughs> open arms. And so I've been, to, I've been to most of the colours, and yeah, actually wow. been able to you know lead worship and be a part of it all and I always tell everyone I actually get I reckon I get so much out of it, out of it as well How cool. but yeah being able to um, benefit from having my wife be in this environment be in the atmosphere um, I'm grateful for it and yeah. then also yeah I've got three kids two uh, little girls and the best kids the fact that they are already <laughs> they already get excited about colour and you know yeah. my oldest is only 10 but she is like all about it already and I just I know what the heart of colour is about in the sisterhood and the fact that they are able to be a part of this is something that I'm like as a dad and as a husband it's just incredible what do you think it is like you're talking about that message that message of value of colour what do you want them to catch when they're in the room yeah well I think the purpose that they have that God has for them yeah. but it's not just this yeah God's created you and you're a woman of God but also he's created you for a purpose and for a reason I think what I love about the environment of colour is that that purpose gets encouraged yeah. and there's people that I'm sure that maybe are in one of those seasons where they might feel a bit discouraged or even lost or question totally. that call of God or that purpose and I think it's the kind of environment that wherever you are on that journey that you'll be inspired and encouraged, not just hyped up but actually like commissioned and equipped yeah. to leave colour and actually do what God's called you to do and so I think that's why it's so powerful and I love it. Okay, so you've been in the room, though, Yeah. with thousands of women. Like, we're talking at our conference this year, I believe. Oh, don't run a scene. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. I was well, going to say gonna, gonna, yeah, you, you probably should have in that instance. Yeah, I nearly sorry. hit somebody, but <laughs> don't worry about it. 
we're flying. Um, you've been in the room. However, there's been, like this year we'll have, I think it's about 14,500 women at our conference. Have you ever had any awkward moments where you're like, I shouldn't be here? Oh, you, you definitely much, have. How much time do we Come have? Come on, yeah. you got to tell us a story. JD's got a really good one. I don't know. Tell me. Yeah. So, I don't know it. All right, well, one year, <laughs> it was during a breast cancer awareness week. That's where my story was going to stem from as well. <laughs> and I was leading worship. And Which is to an the, important topic. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Important yeah. topic and amazing. Yes. And I love that we focus on... Totally, know, we every supported. Every October, we yes. focus on it. And that, mine was last October. Love but, that, okay. Yeah. And anyway, we just finished worship and Bobby gets on stage and is kind of mentioning that it was in our one of our local sisterhood gatherings on yeah. Thursday morning and Bobby was like hey they're doing this big bra mural down on Bondi Beach just to kind of bring awareness and make a statement and she's like we're going to be a part of it and, we'll, so what she, and she's very clear she's like what I want you to do is to go home and get a bra that you don't wear anymore but it, make sure it's clean and you know like not just she didn't want anyone just to just throw any it, bra. you know yeah so she was really clear like go home and if you get it back by this afternoon we'll take them all down and we'll write a little love from the sisterhood on it so people Perfect. see it just in, i'm like great idea she just couldn't have been more clear that it was just go, go home, home get a clean bra that you know you can do without and all of a sudden, as she's giving this instruction and direction about what we're doing, I'm already like, okay, we're talking about bras. I kind of <laughs> not quite already. sure where to look. And then all of a sudden, you just I heard someone go, here, Bobby. And a bra just, boom, lands at my feet. And a woman has just Stop. taken her bra off in the meeting oh and my. thrown the it's bra a good, on stage. It's a good story. And it started a chain reaction. And before you know <laughs> no. it, there was bras getting thrown on stage. How have I not heard this And story? I remember oh, Christine Kane was on the front row. I think she was maybe getting ready to speak. And she just looked at me and she's like, lock eyes, lock eyes. So I'm looking at her, but that was even too much. So I just had to look at my shoes. And bras were landing around me. And um, yeah, let's just say... That, that was, is... Amazing. That's definitely my favourite sister story. I mean, that, that, I'm glad that we've got that on film. That is an epic story. <laughs> okay, we're going to play a little game. Oh, gosh. Yes. The first one to name all cities that colour has ever been held in. So, like, not where it's been held this no, year, but just in the history. No, not where it's been held this year. In history, there are... Let me just do a quick math in my head. I was going to say, do you know the answer? Okay. Yeah, there's seven. I don't have like a prize in mind. Do That's you have okay. one? No, I, bragging I, I, yeah, I've got bragging rights. Whoever doesn't get it has to walk the rest of the way home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if I happen to not get it, we'll have a fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's seven cities. So cities, not necessarily countries. Cities. Well, no. City. Yeah. Go the city. Let's make it harder. Go the city. Yeah. Okay. Who want? I mean, I can. Seven cities. I, I think I can name more. Okay. Right now. Oh, can you? Go. Go. Okay, so we've obviously got Sydney. Yeah. That's one of seven. Yeah. Then we head over to Cape Town. Yeah. Then we head over to London. Yeah. Then we head over to Kiev. Uh-huh. Then we... Three more. Then we have definitely done America, so LA. Yeah. And we've done New York. Uh-huh. So then there's one more, and I'm going to say there's two that more, one... I can, we're talking about cities. And then... Phoenix and Moscow. <gasps> Have we done a Moscow conference? Guess who's walking? Tyler Douglas. <laughs> I think he's wrong though. Wait a minute. I think he's wrong. Yeah, I reckon we've done we're Moscow. Doing it this year, aren't Have we? we done Colour Moscow? I don't know, but no, Phoenix yeah. was definitely one. Phoenix is right. So that I'm in. Okay, like so then Tyler's, Tyler is. Um, I'm. I'm speaking in. He wasn't going to get Phoenix. Oh. I wasn't going to get Phoenix. So is this where I yeah. get out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've. <laughs> Hey, it's been, good they, to have it's been you. so good to be here. Yeah, enjoy this is what everyday work. life with him looks like. Degrees today, but enjoy. Should be so much fun, you guys. <laughs> See you. Yes. Okay, right, we've got right. one more game. Okay. Okay, here's the game. The best thing is I don't think Tyler knows where you live. Where I live. So I mean, that's it's good. perfect. Let's not tell him. There's no worries. He'll find his way to color, yeah. anyways. Um, here's the game. The theme of this year's conference. I'm gonna give you the word, and you're gonna. It's like word association, right? right? So if I say, like, fly, what are you going to say? Wings. Okay. So I'm going to give you the theme of color, and you're going to give me a um, the word association. Word. Okay? Perfect. Wild. Heart. Oh. Heart. Bright. No. Sun. Irresistible. Lauren. Oh, I love it! That was so, that's so good! That's exactly what I was looking for. Yes. Lauren's his wife, by the way, everybody. Yes. Do you know what? 
We're you, back. You've got it. Yes. We're Thanks back. for joining me. Thanks for having us. Can't wait for color. We'll see you next <laughs>